Now at noon, the search for these two suspects after a shooting in downtown Seattle that hurt seven and killed one. This is Marquise Tolbert and William Tolliver. Multiple shots rang out last night, sending people running for cover. And today, many are still in shock. And we just heard this pop, 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 and everyone just took off. I hit the floor right away. It, was, it felt like a bank robbery. I was scared to death. I'm not really surprised that some activity jumped off like it did. The city of Seattle clearly shaken following the violence, and today they are pushing for answers about what can be done to change the culture and rash of violence. We have team coverage of this story to help ease your mind of any safety concerns in Seattle. Cairo 7's Renji Sinha is in Seattle talking with people as they come and go around the busy area of 3rd and Pine. Rob Munoz is outside Harborview Medical Center with the latest. And in about an hour, we're set to hear from Mayor Durkin, Police Chief Carmen Best, and other leaders on the shooting. But we begin with Matt Smith, who's downtown where the violence unfolded. Uh, Tracy, we continue to hear more and more from people. All morning long, I was with you, and we were hearing from people just hoping they would find out from the suspects. I want to show you, we've been seeing more and more police out in this area. That includes these folks right over here. One of the things that we're hearing from people, this was nothing short of concerning to see this unfold down here. Sad as it sounds, I mean, there was a body laying right there. Extra police aborted up window. For those who didn't see it, it seems almost too normal at Third and Pine. To see people running for their lives was, uh, I mean, what, what a scary thing. Bill Ashton was here, safe, high above the shooting, but watched it all unfold. Down on the ground, <laughs> police trying to gain control after eight people were shot around 5 o'clock Wednesday. One woman killed, a nine-year-old among the seven other people shot. Today, police point to these two men, Marquise Tolbert and William Tolliver. Both 24, both considered armed and dangerous. Police releasing these pictures just two hours ago. There was a dispute that happened in front of the McDonald's. Uh, people pulled out guns, shots rang out, people ran in uh, various directions. And I heard a pop, 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 and then about a dozen shots. And I just saw people jumping behind cars and jumping into, into behind any, anywhere they could to hide. That chaos made it hard to figure out who was behind the shootings at first. But now, 19 hours later, we know police are zeroing in on these men. More police have arrived on the block and people in the area actually returning to some level of normalcy. It is strange to, uh, to come here and compare it to what, what it was last night. 